We are back with more exciting news. Coming March 2024, we have a storm of the Sea Devils. Fourth Doctor box set, which finally brings us to the start of Harry and Naomi's adventures. Or Naomi's, at least. Obviously, we had Harry's yes. start back <laughs> a in long uh, time ago. 1975 with Robot. But, you know, the start of this second wave of adventures that Christopher Naylor has picked up the baton from Yamata and taken the character on here. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you're the big Sea Devil fan here. I mean, not yeah. that I'm not a Sea Devil <laughs> fan, but I think you're a league of your own with this one, aren't you? So how excited did you get seeing this cover in a PG-13 manner? Uh, you know, it's kind of wild finally seeing uh, like a cover for it because it, it was announced big finish day, I think um 2020. 2020 yeah yeah i think it was like first of april or something like that no uh, i think it was august actually oh no yeah first the of august yeah, yeah 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 you're right yeah yeah uh, i think it was out like just before wasn't it like the day before because they then had a online panel with eleanor and christopher talking about playing these characters yeah um, but yeah, there's been a lot of speculation about this. Is it going to be a six-parter? You know, it's by David K. Barnes, who mm. is a very good writer. Mm. Um, but looking at the synopsis, it's not what I expected from it. It's more tropical than I expected. I mean, they did say Calcutta early on, to be fair. Oh, did they? I, yeah, I they meant missed it, that like, with the initial announcement. Um, but yeah, I suppose you so were just long. sort of excited I... seeing Harry and Sea Devils and Fourth Doctor that that literally I saw Sea Devil Tom Baker sign me up, put it in my ears, mm. and I'm glad it is a four parter as well. Really. Mm. I mean, a six part would have been nice, but I think especially with the length, sometimes the big finish can go with the four parters. It should be more than enough to keep us going here. And it's a story I can, I feel like I can already sort of visualize in my mm. head. Just seeing that image of the fourth doctor, and you can imagine him sort of wading through like a swamp. And then, yeah, I love the swampy setting they're going for. Yeah. It's, it's nice taking the sea devils away from the sea a bit, but still having them in a water setting. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm praying it's good because the big finish sea devil stories have kind of been hit or miss. I mean, all sea devil stories post the sea devils have a yeah a bit of a rocky record haven't they yeah. so hopefully this I'm breaks hoping. the trend i'm hoping uh, this is a banger yeah i mean gorgeous cover art as well by ryan applin yeah, i mean beautiful. it's a shame that we are presumably losing the individual covers here but you know for the quality we're getting i think i can't say i mind too much it makes up for it because that is a brilliant piece of work there yeah, I mean, maybe, uh, maybe we'll get treated with like it um, for, on the discs. Maybe, hopefully, mm. but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I mean, fingers crossed. But <clears throat> worst comes to worst, I'm not going to be too upset if we don't, because we're sort of we're used to it by now, aren't we? Yeah, we've sort of been lucky to have the uh, Fourth Doctor Adventures individual cover up for as long as we have had. Yeah, I mean. Worlds Beyond, though, sort of surprised me a bit because we had that initial announcement of Alan Turing yes. appearing in this, mm -hmm. played by Anthony Howell. Uh, but he's playing a different sort of role in it, isn't it? Because it's not the real Alan Turing. It seems yeah. to be an AI construct in this uh, luxury resort world where holidays are made perfect for each individual who visits. And so the fourth Doctor's finding himself playing chess with him. I think that's a wonderful way to start these characters off as well, their first journey, and you get a real insight into what makes them tick, really, through their ideal holiday. Mm. So. So it'd, be, it'd be quite nice, because we've sort of had a sort of a story quite similar in a way, with um, a sort of Far From Home, I would say. Yeah, a little bit. I was thinking more world... <laughs> A part, no, not oh, part. shadow plan. Yeah, yeah. The way yeah. that sort of, I mean, Seventh Doctor, Ace, and Hex there, <laughs> but in the way that sort of meant to be a bit of a retreat and find yourself thing, but with a twist on it, really. Show the characters' insecurities and stuff. Yeah, it sort of gives me that vibe, really. 
but yeah i see what you mean about how we have gotten to know the characters but this feels a bit of a more direct way of getting to know them i suppose yeah it'd be quite yeah. interesting to see harry sort of i guess quintessential british holiday <laughs> Mm. I mean, exploring a crumbling ruin. Yeah, he's, he's got his English heritage. Uh, he's got his badge up going on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm excited for this set, and it's nice to finally have some more details about it after waiting for quite a few years since the initial announcement here. So it's nice that you know it's within reach at long last. It's gonna be strange it's listening nice. to it. Yeah, it is. But we always have that experience of Fourth Doctor Adventures, really, true. don't we? Yeah. I mean, at least we have had, because we still don't have announcements for 2025 yet. No, we don't. Which is, I mean, it uh, sounds mad to say that, you know, surely that's still ages away. Why are we mm. complain not complaining, but why are we bringing it up as something that's odd? But for the Fourth Doctor Adventures, it is odd, given that 2020, we had this news with three years on from it, and we don't know mm. what's coming next. Well, we used to do, like, news articles going, Fourth Doctor Weeping Angels, and you look at it, and you're like, that's not come until... Yeah, uh, four years away. Yeah, and you would get, like, little breakdowns and teasers of what's coming up with the Fourth Doctor, but we haven't had one of those for, you know, like you say, since 2020. Uh, yeah. I wonder if with the relaunch, they're now saving it so that it does all come together, mm. really. Like, when we'll get our Fourth Doctor pre-orders when we get Doctors 1 through 8 as well. If that's going to be the way going forward, yeah. yeah. I mean, probably with Cleopatra somewhere yes, along the yeah. line as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, exciting stuff there. Also exciting coming January next year, we have Rani takes on the world, the Revenge of Wormwood. I mean, we sort of have had this cover for a while in a sense because it was at it was the, on the end video, of yeah. yeah the end of the. Uh, beyond bannerman road trailer but here we got it fully and we've got details and it looks like the whole box set is going to be based around this uh bane invasion of sorts whatever is going on there whatever form wormwood's revenge takes uh but yeah i mean did you pick up the first set yeah yeah i've got the first set uh, have you listened to it i've only done the first story uh i mean that is probably my favorite from the first set I think. yeah that was a good a good one um so i'll probably get back on it ready for this set um so i've got this one on order because I, I bundled bundled it um yeah it's interesting how it does all seem to be not quite one long story but it's all tied together much more whereas i feel like the first set was individual rani adventures although there is a bit of a through line there this feels like the through line is much more obvious and stronger Mm. Yeah, definitely. Which is what you want, really. Yeah. I mean, loved the Sarah Jane Adventures growing up. I think the first set was a strong start. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It, could, it gave me a rush of nostalgia seeing this news. Right. Just, um, you know, seeing the title of A Ghost of Banman Road. That mm. just feels very set. Like the quirky Sarah Jane episode of, like, whatever happened to Sarah Jane. That yeah, kind of has that sort of feel to it yeah these stories are very much giving off a sarah jane adventures <laughs> vibe really which is brilliant and i love that idea of bannerman road being like you know the house being closed off and investigated by unit for mm. some mysterious reason what could be going on there bear the bane mm. but and the star crossed diversion as well by alison winter who go back to far from home she wrote the uh second story in that set naomi's arc which i absolutely loved so I'm looking forward to seeing what she does here with this interesting concept of Rahani and Clyde falling asleep on the tube at night and then suddenly waking up in a uh, future where the Bane have taken over Earth. And again, that feels very Sarah Jane. Yes, it, it does. It's yeah. like the um, what's Lost in, not Lost in Time episode. What's the one with the red and blue robot? Red and yellow robot. Is it Lost World? Or Lost, Lost World. Lost uh, planet. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah empty so planet. The one where everyone disappears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, they're left on their own. It gives that sort of vibe. Uh, also, you know, similar to the whole trickster thing with uh, the different realities he creates after making people change, uh, you know, choices. It gives that sort of vibe. Whatever happened to Sarah Jane Smith? All those wonderful episodes. 
that half the time we can't remember the title of apparently yeah yeah we we love but, it we saw it we watched. yeah we we had we did the we're not fake fans we see. Yeah. but yeah i'm excited for this set very much so yeah. don't be childhood nostalgia yeah we also got a trailer for enemy mind should we take a listen to a little bit of it yeah first? let's take a listen look out incoming <laughs> There will be no escape. No! Target locked. I've got you. Here, take my hand. I have but one wish. Victory! Some causes are beyond rescue. Who are you? Someone who was never here. I'll find Case. And I'll remove her from the time wall. I, yeah, I'm still not sold on this set. I'm not sure oh, what you it know. is. Uh, uh, you're quite a fan of the trailer then. Yeah, I'm. I, it's it's going to be interesting having began and hopefully you know the War Doctor interact. I think that it's. I think I think that's the thing I'm most excited about, really. For yeah. It. Um, yeah, and it it seems like it's a nice full circle for the range with what it's doing. Really. Yeah. Hopefully it all comes together. <laughs> yeah. I, I st- yeah. I've still not finished the uh, previous box set though. Which obviously seems to tie into this one quite strongly. It seems ends on a cliffhanger involving around case. Mm. It, I don't, yeah, it's odd because I enjoyed the first episode I listened to. But yeah, just can't seem to muster up the interest to go back to this. Uh, I, I mean, probably should before this one comes out. But that's a that's the thing with Big Finish. You've you've got to be in the mood for it. We've said it before. And if you know, you've got to feel it to enjoy it. Mm. Yeah, <clears throat> just nothing about this is clicking with me at the moment but i love jonathan carley as the war doctor yeah. he's brilliant like such a strong performance and case as well i do like the character but just something it's not clicking with me at the moment with war doctor i can't put my finger on it but yeah it's yeah, something just isn't quite working for me and i don't know why and i feel like it is a me problem to be honest mm. like i've seen you know obviously from what i've listened to <laughs> i've enjoyed the most part particularly the uh, fourth set. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see. But yeah, probably still pick this one up. I mean, oh, yeah, see out the range. To. It's you've the final to. one. I've got the other five. I've committed now. Yeah, I don't, for whatever reason, that trailer just didn't quite tickle me. But normally, if the trailer is not that exciting, the better the mm. release. So, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. I'll love it and you'll hate it because you love the trailer. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Oh, uh, we'll flip we'll flip our perspectives <laughs> this time next month after we've listened to it yeah right. oh, but finally the big piece of news last bit of news yeah the last day bit of news yeah, there we go there we oh, go seventh doctor <laughs> last day we've been waiting for it for a good while haven't we we had it since teased. a relaunch yeah when they first announced a relaunch they said they were doing this I mean, it seems to have been in the works, but even longer. Dark Universe was sort of like the setup for this, the lead mm. into it. So I suppose that's one to uh, revisit before this comes along. Definitely. Uh, but yeah, here we have it. A 12 parter. Unexpected. Mm. Yeah, I was expecting it to more be broken up, similar to the way uh, the last adventure was for the Sixth Doctor, given the fact that we we're apparently getting so many companions back for this. You know, it seemed like it would make sense for them to appear in their own stories each. But no, they seem to all be spread out across this huge adventure for the Seventh Doctor. Uh, Which is quite exciting in Mm. itself, because it seems like Big Finish have got this trend of giving a Doctor their own sort of big, epic story, like 40. Yeah. 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 I think it helps it all being down to two writers as well, in this case, Matt yes. and Guy Adams. But they're not sort of like doing half and half or something. They're sharing the burden here to do all 12 together. I mean, similar, I suppose, to Terry Nation and was it Dennis Spooner who did Dark? Yeah. Mal- 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 Malcolm Hulk and um, yeah, Terrence Dix in the it, War Games. Yeah, that's, there's a precedent, isn't there, for these yeah. uh, grander stories to be uh shared between two writers but, yeah and i mean guy adams of course did do dark universe originally so he's already started this journey i suppose so it makes sense for him to see it out together with matt fitton here 
Hmm. And that was a that was a good story from memory. So yeah, definitely will revisit that one. Yeah, uh, Jeffrey Beaver's back as the master as well. Long time coming. I feel like we haven't heard a lot from Chris recently. I think he's sort of been sidelined. Yeah, it's like Big Finish got their new um, masters, didn't they? With the license, Derek Jacoby, of course, came aboard. Uh, Eric Roberts as well joined them, and so it felt like the uh, crispy master was left to the side for a yeah, while really, because they were busy playing with the new toy yeah yeah but they've come back they've brushed him off to uh involve him in this uh story which makes sense because it is leading up to uh the tv movie where he's been executed by the daleks so presumably that's going to factor into this somehow sontarans too and kane from Dragonfire? Yeah. Okay, that's intriguing. I wonder how big a role he'll have to play in this and how that will even work, given that he melted away. But, you know, I feel it feels like it makes sense, I suppose. You know, to it's a celebration of something, the era, isn't it? Yeah, bring back something mm. from early on in the era as well. From Ace's first story, too. So, mm. yeah, it'd be interesting how she reacts to that. I mean, they sort of snubbed the... Uh, 24 carat um promo trailer for season 24 a bit in the news article when they're saying edward peel returning for the first time in 35 years to play kane (laughs) he played a couple of years ago actually yeah yeah in a way yeah i mean i was we were promised every seventh doctor companion here are you disappointed that it's kind of not necessarily that i mean how's your reaction to what we have here I I think that it seems like it's one for kind of like the OG Big Finish fan. Mm. Like the people who followed like the black and white TARDIS art. Because I feel like this from just the initial synopsis, it feels like it's doing like the black and white TARDIS arc. But, you know, in two box sets in a way with like this big grand story. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can't necessarily complain about the lack of Harry, Naomi, and Rain and such, because it feels like there's so much here anyway. Mm. You wouldn't necessarily want characters forced into it who don't make sense just for the sake of saying, oh, we've got every some companion here. But particularly with Harry and Naomi as well, with their adventures still ongoing, I think I wouldn't necessarily want their inclusion in this to somehow limit their adventures going forward. Yeah, because I, I assumed Far From Home would lead into like the last day mm. and would kick off with Seventh Doctor Harry Naomi, but it doesn't seem like it is that. Yeah. Mm. I mean, we also have Chris and Roz in here as well. Out. Which is lovely because they've not yeah. been used and, you know, poorly underserved by Big Footish because I, I love the new adventure set and the novel adaptations they did of them mm, so it's good yeah, to see them get set. used again yeah it's nice to see that they've not been forgotten about because those were sort of one of the some of the characters we were wondering about mm. early on wasn't it when they said every Seventh Doctor companion has come back for this like, are you including Chris and Ros in that or do they not count at the moment I mean Ros is certainly an interesting one given where things went in the novels i mean that's sort of something that's been up in the air a bit as well how the novels factor into big finish canon yeah so i wonder how they'll go about that vienna as well i suppose it makes sense because she started here yeah uh, with the seventh doctor all the way back in uh that 2012 trilogy i can't remember what the exact release was called i know the burning prince is the fifth doctor one uh, or is it the burning heart it's no it's shadow shadow heart i want to say shadow heart. yeah that feels right because it's uh burning prince akron pulse and i think shadow heart yeah that sounds about right so it's all, she's coming home <laughs> to the seventh doctor mm. uh, so yeah the gang's all here and it looks to be an interesting one so especially yeah. as well 12 part hoping for a strong cliffhanger in the middle with uh, part 6 yeah yeah because that's certainly one of the I suppose pitfalls of 40 really that big event is that it didn't necessarily have a strong cliffhanger in the middle it's more just oh here we go again yeah 
So yeah, but this looks quite different to Forty in that you know it is a twelve part. So it's one long story. So yeah, I'm just excited to hear how that will all work. And the cover, I'm really oh. curious to see how that cover will work. Mm. Yeah, there's certainly a lot it? to fit on. Yeah. Mm. Um, Unless it'll be like a it... cover, like uh, the Ape Doctor last year, like connections and what lies yeah, inside. Yeah, thinking that. Yeah, do you sort of connect them up? Do you have half the Seventh Doctor's face? Yes. <laughs> no, no, best not to do that. Let's... No, that'd be quite cursed. Yeah, especially if you get it slightly misprinted and like they <clears> don't line up. <laughs> yeah. You sort of... I... But, I mean, it is yeah, his last day after the... all. Yeah, with yeah. the two covers, you've certainly got room there to you know leave some off the first cover save them for the second yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to this one now it's nice to know what form it is taking and mm. just who's going to be included but beyond that it's still quite mysterious mm. yeah like they're keeping uh, this one close to their chest in terms of plot details which you know i respect because there's enough other stuff there to catch my interest and then the fact that they're holding that close to their chest also piques my interest because it makes it seem like it's going to be something rather exciting if they can't quite divulge any of that just yet. Mm. I mean, if you've listened to Dark Universe, there's sort of some things from the synopsis here that tie into how that left off. So it'd be interesting whether that does play into it or not. But yeah. mm. Any last thoughts on the last day? I, I've been excited for this because I really enjoy what Big Finish have done with TV Movie McCoy. Um, so it'd be great to see it finally happen, you know. Yeah, it's just nice that we're, we're nearly there, aren't we? Because mm. uh, this is only well, <laughs> next month now. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get more details for the next instalment, uh, mm. like a cover, uh, which would be great to talk about. Yeah, uh, fingers crossed for that. And of course, trailer as well. Yes. Sometime yes. in the coming weeks. Uh, yeah. Let us know which piece of news excites you most in the comments below, which release you're most looking forward to that's upcoming. And we'll see you for another news video sometime next week, most likely. Absolutely. So, like, subscribe, do all that lovely stuff um, for your daily, or well, not daily, weekly Big Finish mm. news update from us. Uh, big Finish don't quite put out enough news for us to do them daily. No, no, and no. And I don't think we'd manage it either. No, I don't think we could. Yeah. But anyway, we'll see you for some more Big Finish news next week. Bye-bye. everyone.